Solana is officially live on the leading EVM wallet MetaMask and in this video we are here to provide you with an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up in your wallet and use it to store and explore the Solana ecosystem. So before we begin don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. Okay ladies and gentlemen we are not wasting any time we are currently on the MetaMask website. Now assuming that you've already got a MetaMask wallet which if you haven't got one guys you can check that out on our YouTube channel which we have a full easy and comprehensive tutorial. None Nonetheless, assuming that you do have one, my friends, as you can see, we've got our wallet set up here. All you're going to want to do is to set up Solana in your wallet. It is incredibly easy. You just go into your account like you can see right here. In the top left corner, you can see networks. Now, you can see that I'm currently on base, but it doesn't matter which one you're currently on. However, you will see that Solana will probably be at the top of your network lists. And therefore, once you select it here, you're going to see to enable the Solana network, you need to create a Solana account. So basically right now what we've got in our MetaMask wallet is an EVM account and that replicates across every single network that we can see, whether or not that's base, whether or not that's ZK Sync, Sonium, Zora, X, Y, and Z. They all share the same wallet address, which is the OX address we can see under our account name. However, guys, what we want to do is, like I said, we now want to activate Solana and what this will do is this will generate us a wallet address for the Solana network and a brand new account. So once we click that, as we can see, we just want to now select a new account name. This could very simply be Theo. It could be whatever you want. And then as you can see straight away, we have now set up our wallet and we have got a new wallet address, which says BZIS dot dot dot. But if I was to go back over to base, you're now going to see my EVM wallet. So basically, guys, we are now switching between two different accounts and two different network ecosystems. This is absolutely insane, guys. This is the first time that MetaMask has ever done this. So what do we do from here? Well, from here, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to fully expand the view so we get up the whole page so it's easier to see. Now, once we're here, guys, what we want to do is we want to now start adding some Solana tokens into our MetaMask wallet so that we can store our cryptocurrencies and, of course, explore the Solana ecosystem. Now, the thing is we can only use one method of which we can deposit Solana tokens into our wallet. Soon in the future, we'll be able to have two, and that second option will be the on and off ramp option. An on and off ramp option will enable you to simply buy cryptocurrencies directly to your wallet without you having to use a centralized exchange or receiving crypto from another wallet. Therefore, we're going to have to wait for the buy and sell feature on the Solana network to be activated through MetaMask. However, the only way to receive Solana into your wallet is through either A, another existing wallet, or B, through a centralized exchange, which will be the most popular option. So for example, you're now going to see my mobile pop up on the screen with the crypto.com exchange loaded up. And you'll see here that I've got my Solana tokens. And what you want to do is very simply head over to your Sol wallet. Next, it's basically very simple. You can replicate this across any centralized exchange. They all work the same. You want to head over to the transfer option and you have two options. Either A, depositing, which will deposit assets into your centralized exchange, or B, the withdrawal option, which will withdraw the crypto from your centralized exchange to your preferred destination, which for us will be the MetaMask wallet. So once I click withdraw, next, you want to choose the external wallet, which will be a non-custodial wallet. Next, you want to add a new wallet choose wallet address and very simply either a use the wallet address up top to just copy and paste it into the search bar of the crypto.com exchange or b if you head over to this receive tab over on the metamask wallet all you want to do is on your mobile just very simply get the barcode option get it up and as you can see on my mobile i've now got my wallet address right there so simple and so easy all you need to do after that is enter your receipt to name, country, dot, 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 all the details, and then just simply withdraw it from your exchange to your wallet. Then in a few seconds, you're going to see your Solana tokens appear. So you should hopefully see around 0.1818 Sol tokens in my MetaMask wallet, which now if I get off this little barcode, give the page a refresh, and boom, you can now see that we've got $26.60 on the Solana network. As you can see down here, 0.1817 Sol, excluding the fees that we had to spend on obviously sending it from crypto.com over to our MetaMask wallet absolutely fantastic now i know it's not that much guys but this is just simply a tutorial you can open it up in your little extension and you'll see that the same thing appears what is next guys well from here we may as well show you how to utilize all the features on the metamask wallet through the solana network and the first thing we're going to show you is the swapping feature it's nice and simple guys and it's actually fantastic it aggregates the best swaps for us through the metamask wallet on the solana network so up top we can see our soul tokens right here down below, we can see a selection of Solana tokens of which we can obtain. 
USDC, Trump, Jup, Virtual, FDUSD, Bonk, Rendo, whatever you guys want, you can see a massive list of cryptocurrencies within the Sol ecosystem. If you have a specific crypto in mind or a specific token address, simply copy and paste it in the search bar up here and you'll find it. However, let's just say we wanted to swap into Jup, the native token of the Jupiter Exchange, which we're going to head over to in a second. We're going to very simply choose an amount to start off with. It could be any amount, just as a tutorial. This is how to swap in your wallet. You'll see all the fees down below, and next, once you're ready, you just very simply send it off. You'll receive USDC, JUP, or whatever token you swapped into. Straight away, guys, we've already got our tokens. If you want to swap it back, all you need to do is head over to the swapping feature, choose the token that you just got up top. Next, down below, choose the token you want to swap into. Could be SOL, could be USDC. Boom, click the max amount or however much you want to get rid of and bang, submit it and it is good to go. That is very simply how to swap on MetaMask on the Solana network. However, you can also utilize a bridge guide. So it's a fantastic way of moving assets to and from a wide range of different EVM compatible networks. Of course, directly through the MetaMask wallet. Whether or not that was base, linear, Ethereum, OP, dot, 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 you can do so. But you will probably have to have USDC in order to do so. I don't know exactly whether or not you can aggregate a swap by bridging over Solana into Ethereum from Sol over to base or whatever network it may be. But as an example, guys, if, for example, I was to choose an amount, could be 0.1 Sol, it will calculate it and then it will retrieve the quote for you. It will tell you the exact route. You won't need to manually input your address, guys. It will do it automatically for you because as you can see here, it would send over to my Trezor One account or basically my main account of my MetaMask wallet. So it's entirely up to you if you wanted to do this, guys. You can bridge to and from EVM compatible networks. This is absolutely awesome. Next, guys. Now that you know how to swap, now that you know how to bridge, which is bridging out of the Solana network or back into the Solana network, what you can do is you can now send and receive tokens to other Solana wallets. So for example, guys, if you've got a Phantom wallet and you want to send tokens over here, you could very simply copy your wallet address up here. Next, from my Theo account over on MetaMask, I'm now going to send to my Phantom wallet which you'll see down here, the token Solana or whichever token I have. After that, you just want to choose an amount. It could be any amount you like. Honestly, guys, this is just a tutorial. We're going to send over $1 just as an example. Once that's done, we've now shown you how to utilize all of the features on the MetaMask Solana account. What is next, guys? Well, this is all about exploring Solana with MetaMask. And all you have to do is, guys, head over to your favorite Solana application, assuming that you have one. If not, you can very simply check out the Solana ecosystem, which we'll leave in the description down below. But for us, I'm going to first just head over to the Jupiter Exchange, the leading decentralized exchange aggregator of the Solana ecosystem. All you'd want to do is very simply get yourselves logged in. Now, all you'll see is on the right hand side, you'll see a selection of wallets. Now we have MetaMask. If we select that, you'll see that we've got our Solana account that appears right here because you can confirm your address. So once you're ready, you very simply get yourselves logged in. After that, guys, you'll be able to see all of your assets within your wallet. As you can see here, I've only got $25 worth of salt. But guys, the world is my oyster and I can now swap into any single token. I can now utilize all of the features, whether that's perpetual trading, whether or not that is just exploring other different protocols such as Radium, whether or not that's Fragmetric, X, Y, and Z, the world is your oyster. But guys, just as a tutorial, I'm going to show you how to swap over on Jupiter Exchange. Just like that, I'm going to swap around $10.00. Boom, I'm going to get myself USDC and bang, as you can see, it is now swapped Sol into USDC directly through the Jupiter Exchange utilizing our wallet and we can swap it directly back and forth however you want to do it. Now, after that, guys, you can now explore any other Solana protocol. Now, the best part is we have got Solana protocols on our YouTube channel, whether or not they're just simple tutorials or whether or not they are airdrop tutorials. Therefore, now that you've got yourself your MetaMask account on Solana, why not explore the world of Solana through your MetaMask account and start qualifying for airdrops along the way? The choice is entirely up to you guys, but the option is now here for us to use MetaMask, Backpack, Phantom, Soulflare. We have got so many different Solana compatible wallets. We just wanted to show you how to use MetaMask as an alternative. But guys, you can use any application, whether or not that's Fragmetric, which we've got an airdrop tutorial for on our YouTube channel. Whether or not that is Orca, another leading decentralized exchange within the Solana ecosystem. Whether or not that is Perina, whether or not that is Medeora. Guys, honestly, there are so many different protocols of which you can check out in the Solana ecosystem and use through your MetaMask wallet. So honestly, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to splash that like and subscribe button because it really shows support on our channel. I'm going to answer one question that many 
of you may have. For those who have got a hardware wallet, such as a Trezor on your MetaMask wallet, for your EVM networks, it is not going to work for Solana. I repeat, it will not work for Solana. It is strictly for EVM compatible usage right now. However, in the future, whether or not Trezor does some sort of integration with MetaMask and the Solana ecosystem, I do not know. But as it stands, you can only utilize your Trezor wallet to protect your EVM compatible networks. However, in the future, maybe they will cover the Solana account of your MetaMask account, but who knows? They are completely separate guys. They are not the same as your EVM accounts, just so you know. You've got a different wallet address. You've got different technology behind it all in all. So guys, this is the end of the video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Like we said, if you have any requests whatsoever, please let us know in the comment section down below, whether or not that's exploring MetaMask even further, or if that's the Solana network, whatever you want. We are here for you all and friends, we can't wait to see you in the next video.